So it started. We are recording, yeah. and we yeah. are like I am. Did you write your name? You wrote, you wrote your name. Yeah, Borak Koitas, and I am Georgi Kanev. So we both have Eurovision channels. We are both doing our own thing. We both have different tops, different favorites. I don't know. It's Eurovision, so we are in the same spot. Yeah. And I decided, and I messaged you yesterday. Was it yesterday or two days before yesterday? Think, yeah, it was yesterday. Yeah, that we will do prediction, not favorite, mm -hmm. but we can also say that this is also a favorite song. Prediction about semifinal one and semifinal two of what we predict will qualify to the final. Mm -hmm. And you wrote everything on papers. I have mine like this. How are yours? Look, uh, mine's are bigger. And the problem okay. is I just do it for the semifinal one, not for the two. But I can make it for two, too. Okay, I did also for semifinal two because I thought it would go quickly. Okay. But you can open a list and you already have prediction for semifinal two, right? Yeah. And it's, yeah, yeah. I even when I started writing them, I didn't change much stuff from what I have in my head. Yeah, same for me too, actually. You know, I made it from the app and they're all in my mind. So I'm still listening to them. So yeah. I know my so, um, what else to say? What else can I say about this now? Um, I mean, it's a strong year. We can say that. For me, it's a very strong year. I have many songs that I like a lot. And every day I change my mind. Although I have made my top 20, I now have a new song that I like very much. Mm -hmm. And it's very changing all the time, but I have many favorites. Do you have many favorites? Yes, I didn't decide who, which one's my favorite and who will win the contest because I thought this year we have some equal chances for some of countries. Yeah. And I don't know who's going to win. I have some predictions, of course. I have some favorites. But this year I'm feeling like my first favorite style not will be in the winners, but at least they will get a good result. So I'm curious about the rehearsals, actually. I also, yeah, the rehearsals can change a lot of stuff. That's very yeah. That's why it's like predicting without seeing anything. Like we are like literally predicting from video clips, some lives, yes, and from course. the audience that we listen. Because you can always have a like a fail or something yeah. that's actually very good. I always give this example for the situation like Elena Foreira. We didn't expect that yeah. she will be. Uh, yeah, up. this is the best. The best because uh, Cyprus never goes to pre parties yeah. and Greece also. So it's like you literally see them on the semi final. So yeah. there, Freira was like the big bomb of what she could do because everybody was making fun of the video clip about the bananas. Yes. And she's not dancing. People but are a little stuff in for the advertising thing. She will prove it after that. But yeah, that's yeah. right. Maybe we'll have that too this year. Like, I don't know. I have some expectations from some countries. I will tell them when we talk about them. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. So then I can start with semi final one. And the thing okay, is. Okay, go on. If I say a country, and if you have the same, you can say also that you have it so that we don't have them doubles. Yes. So I'll start with semi-final one. And the first one, just paper that I have now here, is Cyprus. Do you have it too? Have it, yeah. <laughs> because so many people are like not putting Cyprus in the, as a prediction. Um, but it's not only that I like the song. I also think that it will qualify because it's a televote pleaser yes and of course finals are for televotes and she can dance a lot yes and in the semifinals we don't have juries so if the song is catchy it's already friendly so it means they will get the final and cyprus has the quality to in the final because the thing is that greece is not in the same semifinal so greece is not voting for cyprus <laughs> Yes, <laughs> but I think uh, there are lots of other Balkan countries in this semi. So yeah, there are a lot I can like I can see that also happening. Mm -hmm. So my second country is Slovenia. Oh. oh yes, I have Slovenia in here with the heart. Oh, you have also Slovenia. Okay, we have, yes. many, but Slovenia for me is a sure qualifier for Cyprus. I I am worried. Mm -hmm. But I predicted that it will uh, qualify for Slovenia. I have it as a sure thing. I yes. love the song. And from what I see people writing about Raven, everybody likes Raven. And she's good and life. I think she's preparing really, really well to the Eurovision because I watched her in Instagram stories and, you know, TikToks. She is doing everyday rehearsals and yeah. she's preparing something interesting for us. And I'm so curious about her. Me too. I really, really can't wait to see her. She's in my top yeah. 10. 
So the next can do you want to reveal one? Reveal one because I'm revealing all the time. <laughs> okay, let's go. I think this is the borderline for me, and I guess it's borderline on everybody. It's yeah. on my tenth place. It's Australia. I don't have Australia. <laughs> <laughs> I literally yesterday in my story, someone on Instagram, someone asked me, what do you think? Who do you think could come in the semifinal one as 11th? And I really predict Australia. It will be, <laughs> if it doesn't qualify, it would be 11th, but it could also qualify, but I don't have it as a qualifier. Yes, I agree for you. I think Australia has a um, potential to get some votes from the European people because they have sympathy. Yeah. So I think they will finish in the 10th or 11th, both of them will be... It could, be, it could be a lot of people yeah. like Paco from the Eurovision D. He loves Australia. Yeah. He says, like, for me, this is an amazing song. For me, it's I don't play it so often, but as a prediction, I could see that a lot of people will like it. It's just that the video clip is a bit weird. Yes, of course. Um, you can put another country. Okay, it's in my seventh, no, eighth place. Let's go, eighth place. Okay, it's Poland. Actually, I love this song. Uh, the chorus part is really good, but the other parts are so boring for me. But overall, I like the song. I don't have Poland. <laughs> I know that. I, I know that. <laughs> but exactly what you said, exactly what you said on my Instagram story yesterday, someone asked me and I said exactly the same thing. The chorus is very good and very catchy and very easy to learn. But towards and the end... It's not it's not there yet towards the end. It doesn't give me this Eurovision ending song. But yeah. Poland is big. Many people could vote for it. And of course. I agree with they have diaspora and they know how to do the stage. So maybe they can give us some good staging. Yeah. I have some expectations from Poland actually. Okay, that's good. So I predict Finland. No. Finland. Oh. I don't have Finland, actually. You don't have the, I love yeah. Finland. I <laughs> love too, but I don't think that, you know, the staging was so boring. I Even though I like the song, I think the staging is so boring. They will not reach to, you know, people's hearts. They People are still thinking about the Sarah C. Paul option, etc. So I don't think that they will be in the final, I guess. Okay, I, I can take your judgment, but I think that the song is so catchy. The, the staging is very funny. Windows 95 Man is a very funny figure. His yeah. character is funny. Henry, for me, is the perfect match with uh, Windows. It's like, it's like very high. For me, Finland is on the semi final, like third place. Like, I really like the song. Really? Yeah, I really like the oh. song. Okay. <laughs> so you can reveal another. Okay, another one from uh my it's my seventh place. It's Luxembourg. Okay, uh, I think Luxembourg too. Because everybody loves Luxembourg. Uh okay. let me explain why it's on my list. I think uh this song is very catchy, this is so good, this is very radio friendly. Even though I feel like it's early twenties, uh I feel like people are gonna love he her, people are gonna you know. I vote for her because she is preparing a Eurovision version right now and she's gonna add some dance moves, etc. So this I think they exactly will exactly what I what also hypes me even more that she's preparing a Eurovision revamp, yeah. maybe a small one or something, but the song already is very good. So if she makes it even better, and we have seen it also live, so it's like uh -huh. for me it's also a qualifier. And it's Luxembourg, so many people will want to put Luxembourg in the final. They just return, people are going to vote for her and you know encourage them. Yeah. So the next one that I have is Serbia. Oh, Wait. yeah. Uh, you have it too, right? Yeah. Yes, of course. Yeah, Serbia. This is a short qualifier. Like, yeah. even if it's like, even if I would say like, it's not uh, my most favorite song or something, but it's a short qualifier. On the Serbian final, that was amazing what you did yeah, there. On stage. All of it was amazing. So it's what else to say. It's um, for me, Serbia is the best example why I love Eurovision because you know, even though you don't understand the language, you don't understand the lyrics, you can fall in love with the song. Yeah. I know that she's telling a story. She's telling a story with staging, with the song, with everything, and I'm buying it. Actually, she is my. By the way, I I'm feeling like she's going to finish in top five. Yeah. Overall. Many people say that. Many, many, many. Many see Serbia very high. And it's exactly like it's... They bring every year something new. And they yeah. take a risk and they don't care. Like, 
people vote for them because they're so brave about it. Um, I have the next one. You probably don't have that. I have Ireland. Yes, I don't have that. Do you have Ireland? No, unfortunately. Yeah, not many people have Ireland. Uh, I love Ireland. I love Ireland. I love Bambi Thug. The song is so not what I listen to, but it's a song. It's a song that I want to see the performance, and it's exactly for Eurovision. It's weird, it's catchy, and it's ending with the best way possible when she says this, uh, Avada Kadabra, I speak to destroy, <laughs> and the song ends, and she destroys everything. And I think that people will vote for this. I think, I hope that Ireland will be in the top. Actually, I love her so much. I love the song too. But the problem in here is uh, we already have a witch queen in here. It's Slovenia. Yeah. And we know the uh, vote potential for the island. So I think it's going to be a problem for them. But still, I I love that they try something new for the Eurovision stage. I think that's, that kind of song, that kind of singing is... But they took a good that. risk. Yeah. Yeah. They took a good and risk. I hope it, it, it will they work for that. I hope that. If they will go to the final, I will be happy about it. Yeah. So, which is your next one? You can say maybe. We so can... probably this is not on your list, but I love Moldova so much. Oh really? I don't have it. <laughs> I know that because most of the people doesn't like that. They say it's early nineties, twenties, etc. You know, they don't reach to the final because the song is not that high quality, etc. Yeah. But I feel like I have a theory about it. Most of the uh, European countries love this kind of you know ethnical things. But yeah. in this Eurovision, we don't have that much. She yeah. is the only one. So that's, this is going to be hard for her. That's very true. That's very true. And the performance is interesting. I, I love that thing, actually. I, yeah, and I couldn't, how they were turning and then all of them doing the same stuff with the singer. Yeah. This is very interesting. That was. It is. It very is. It is. So I have the next one is Ukraine. Do you have? You have Ukraine. Of course I have. I mean, yeah, the song is good. I mean, for me, Ukraine is not in my top 10, but I do understand when my best friend has her, has Ukraine on his second all-time favorite. And uh-huh. I do understand why, because it's like Jerry Hale is Jerry Hale. It's like, this is amazing. When she sings, it's yes. amazing. She's giving goosebumps, actually. Actually, I'm feeling like this is the... One of my favorite songs from the Ukraine. I think it's going to be the best one in the last five years, I guess. Wow. Uh, because Jerry Hale is just killing the stage. Yeah. She is giving me goosebumps, these high notes. Everything is on point for me. Yeah. Uh, I think the staging is good and they will improve it for Eurovision too. I'm feeling like they will finish in top 10 this year. The staging, Ukraine always does good staging. Yes. So I don't worry about that. The national final was okay, but they will do for Eurovision something amazing. Of course, of course. And your next one? I mean, I have another so, three next. Three. Okay, I have two. And my next one is Lithuania. I have it too. This is like... Yeah, I mean, actually, I, we don't... Yeah, we don't talk about this country. <laughs> I love Lithuania. Of course. This is... I And you. we saw him uh, at the pre-party in Sweden. The, and, and he was killing with the live. Yes, he was... This is... This is exactly like the audio when I listen to it. This yeah. is amazing. He's amazing. Like, and Peter recorded on the live. I was like, he's singing very well. He's engaging with the people. Everybody yeah. knows the song. The tension was so high. People were cheering for him. I guess he will finish in top 10 too this year. I really hope so. Even top five for me. So yeah. I have a song that maybe you don't have. It's Croatia. Croatia. Come on. You have Croatia, okay, yeah. Croatia is my winner in the semi. Really? Yeah, okay. For me, it's Lithuania. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, Croatia, but it's very high. It's probably second or third for me. It's mm-hmm. an amazing song. It's catchy. It's the beat, everything. It's like, even it's not bad when I say like, because I have commented when I have said before that uh, it does remind me of Keria, the song. It's the same kind of vibe. But that's not a bad thing because I really like Keria. So I of really course. like also this one. It's very. You cannot ignore that he influenced from the Keria. It's so okay for me. I'm feeling like he's, he's, um, he has some Balkanic version of the Keria because in that song, we're yeah. going to see 
Very same cool. move, same structure, everything is okay. But at least that dance break, that's, that thing is so good for me. Yeah, it's so catchy. Oh Those 10 seconds when the green is behind and this is happening, this is so catchy. These people will yeah. yell at the vision, I think. But I can imagine that part in the arena, people going to cheer for him. Yeah, yeah, that's very true. So tell me your last country. It was Croatia, I'm done. <laughs> Ah, th this is Croatia, you're done. No, I have also Portugal. Ah, okay. Portugal was my 12th place. Yeah, I have Portugal because uh, Yolanda has one of the best live vocals after uh -huh. seeing the national final. She, for me, has she's one of the female best vocals of this year, so Eurovision. And for that reason, I think a lot of people will vote for her to qualify uh -huh. And Portugal always send, sends like female power vocalists. Like last year, Mimika, she was so good live vocals, and Yolanda is exactly the same. And the song Grito, it's exactly this kind of song that the first minute is okay, mm -hmm. and the last minute of the song is very good for me. So that's why I think I'm like, and that's why I think like people hopefully vote for it and go for it so it can qualify because I think Portuguese people will be very very sad if, they, if she doesn't go to the final I echo you the problem is I'm not sure about the vote potential for the Portugal but if she will be in the final I will be happy about it because I love the song yeah yeah I agree so we are done with the, with uh, the first semi-final yes. Um, you don't have for the second but do you know what we can do then I can reveal my 10 and you can okay, I will and you can yeah. tell if you agree or don't agree. Okay. Because you know the songs, you have heard them, and you can say from prediction, okay, I agree with that, I don't agree with that, or you have it, you I don't. I will do something you are very familiar with, did it? I will do this or this. Yeah, do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I have, the first is Norway. As a of short course. fire. Okay. Of so you agree? Yeah, I mean, of course. Because amazing song. It's amazing, and she's killing with the life, and they are giving us something unique, something interesting, and Very we're going to vote for them. I know them. I agree. So, second one, I have Netherlands. I mean, wait, why is this light so... Okay, you agree too? So, we oh, have sorry. two of them. Yeah, what to say about Netherlands, right? This is so catchy. And it's like a another song, as we said about Croatia, the this moment where the techno beat comes at the yeah. end. This is so good. That song is one hundred percent Dutch, actually, because I've been in Netherlands in last year, you know, and I feel like that song has a potential to get votes from everyone because the song is very catchy. People don't, people will not care about the language, etc. I feel, I'm feeling like, especially Gen Z, the young generation will vote for him. The, exactly, the young generation will vote for him very much. Yeah. Um. So we have two. I have the third is Israel that I see qualifying. Do you agree? No. Okay. Done. Um, fourth is Belgium. Yeah. He, can win the, he can win the contest. He can win the contest. I yeah. see all the, the time on Twitter about Belgium that this song is amazing and he will do an amazing live mm -hmm. performance. And I you agree. Know, so, you know, there are some years, some people got high votes from the jury, the other ones get uh, high from the televot, and the average one won, like the Duncan Norris in 2019. Belgium one can be that one. It can be this one, I agree. And from Belgium, something similar, I have Switzerland. Mm, yeah, Switzerland in my list too. Okay. okay. <laughs> Switzerland is on the list. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, Switzerland. This for me, exactly what you said about Belgium. I can see Switzerland also winning. Nemo has vocals. Mm -hmm. It really depends of what the props and the staging will be for that yes. song. Exactly. It needs exactly. to have something representing the lyrics, and then for mm -hmm. me, it could be also a winner. It will be change about how crazy they are in the stage. I think if the stage will be so crazy, then that can he can be he can have a potential to win but yeah. the staging is very you know not very familiar for us not crazy just basic then they can lose their chance 
That's why they have. They are working also with someone from Finland. Uh huh. Did the state that does the staging for UMK. The oh, guy okay. that does, does this kind of staging. He works with Nemo, so that's why I think maybe they bring something amazing. Yes, of course that can be. So now we go to Greece. I have Greece. Da, I have da, Greece. Da, da. Of course we have Greece. <laughs> This is finally, finally, Greece is going something Greek, something yeah. ethnic, you know, because Greece has been very, it went a separate way from ethnic and Greek the last years, uh -huh. the last two years. And when I heard this year, I was thinking like, finally, finally, no Panic Records, because Panic yeah. Records always goes with those American songs. They have like a structure and they are pushing every artist to find song like that. I think this year Marina Sati will kill. And I'm so happy that she's going to show us the uh, new version of Greek, you know, their new face. It's a freshman for us, actually. I agree. I'm so happy about it. And also another song that you can, I am excited to see how the props and the staging will be. Yeah. Because it's yeah. like, I cannot predict it. Yes. Maybe they put and two. I hope that she is going to kill the stage because we have potential. <laughs> we did so good. Song is also so good. I'm living for that song. And waiting for the prop, actually. Yeah, I agree. The next one, oh, a package came. It's fine. So yeah. Heard it, but no, I don't need to go. It's fine. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> Last time I was recording and another package came again. Uh, <laughs> and people in the comments are saying, like, well, go because Amazon will not wait. <laughs> and I was thinking, yes, like, <laughs> maybe you can choose the dates or, you know, time. So I have Austria. I love her so much. The song is what I expect from Eurovision, actually, you know. Yeah. When I heard the song for the first time, I was like, oh, my God, this is what I love Eurovision so much. Exactly. And I have some high hopes from her because we we know how talented she is, how good dancer, how good choreographer. She can sing live. Also, her husband knows how to uh, job works on Eurovision because her yeah. husband is Mark Indictment. So... And she has done also uh, many Eurovision stuff. She has yeah. been stand in rehearsals for Eurovision. So she really knows how Eurovision works. She yes. has it in her skin. So I really, really hope that she will be there dancing her ass off and winning the televoting even. Why not? Yeah. I'm living for that. Um, next one, I have Armenia. Hmm. I'm not sure about it. Okay, why? I love the song so much, you know, because we are neighbors. The sound is very familiar for me. I love that so much. I can listen to that. But I, t I felt like there are lots of music, but um, the lyrics are not that much. There are not you know? many lyrics. That's true. Yeah, there, there are not many lyrics. I think this can be the problem. We are not in the, you know, 80s, 90s, like that kind of song can win the Eurovision. Also, that's a good thing for the cultural reset. Yeah. You know, they are giving something interesting, something new for something us. Something new, yeah. But not sure people are going to vote for that one. Because it's like uh, Belarus 2017 or 18. Is the uh, uh, like this one? The like, one? It, the like it one? No. No, no. I, there was a couple women and men. Oh, yeah, true, 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 true. I agree. I agree. But yeah, it's televoting. I don't know what. There, there's also a big diaspora of Armenia, yeah. so maybe, I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. I would be so happy if they will be in the final, but not sure about the potential, actually. Okay. So I have Georgia as a ninth. Um, I have Georgia, too. Okay. What do you think about Georgia in general? I love her. I love Nuta. Okay. Uh, I said yes, but I don't like the song. I think the song is not the same level with her potential, with her voice Very ability. predictable lyrics. Yes, it is. And I don't think that this one the best option for her. But overall, when we think, talk about the Georgia's entry, I think it's the best time the, they will be in the final. She yeah. have a potential. She can dance. She can sing. And I'm not worrying about the stage performance because I have seen yes. performances from Music Idol in America. And she yeah. can really perform and bring something people to like. So that's of why course. I have her as a prediction that she will qualify. Of course. And I will give you a small information about her. Uh, she started music career in Turkey. Uh, she joined the, the Voice Turkey. And that's how her journey started. 
Oh really? I thought she started from uh, Music Idol America, and that that was her first. first. She came here, and she was in Hadisa team. Hadisa represent us in two thousand and nine. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. I never found that information. But that's good. Then you have to vote for her. Yeah, <laughs> I will vote for her. <laughs> so I have as a tenth song a song that probably you will not have it, but since three days I. Freaking love this song. I am obsessed with it. I don't have it in my top 20 video that I uploaded. And I regret that because I don't know what happened. I heard the songs. I, I, I hear the song today 20 times. And I'm hearing it. And I'm thinking like, what is happening with me? I love this song. And it's Denmark. <laughs> Do you have that? Do you have I love that? that song so much. I love that song so much. Actually, I was expecting Malta from you because I know that how you love Malta. Uh, I so wanted to say exactly. I wanted to talk after that about Malta and how sad yeah. because it is in my top 20 personal taste. The songs mm -hmm. that I listen to, Malta is there. It's, I think, almost 15th in my top 15. Yeah. And I want to say that people should vote for Malta. Uh-huh. I hope people vote for Malta. People vote for Malta. Even if a previous song from the other doesn't qualify, it's fine as long as Malta qualifies because for me that song is amazing. But yeah. as a prediction, I see Denmark inside actually because I love the song. I love the song from my listener for the first time. Uh, I feel like Denmark was always sending something, you know, in the middle songs, the average one, not the stronger one. And this is the time to change the key. Actually, they are sending really, really strong song. And also writer is from Sweden, so they have some collaboration. Maybe they can get some good words from Sweden too. So <laughs> my expectations are high from her. I really like it. So this is it. We predicted the two semifinals. I mean, the second semifinal did. You agreed to most of them, but would you I have another song that you are like seeing? I, I have two different country from you. Once is uh, one of them is Malta, of course. I told you that. Yeah. And the other one is Latvia. I think this song is very jury friendly. If they reach the final, they will get a good result. Also, I feel like uh, we don't have in this semi that kind of ballads because lots of the songs are, most of the songs are, you know, very energetic songs, very alternative ones. And even this kind Denmark, of. Even Denmark is alternative. It's not a ballad. Yeah. We don't have a classical ballad. Maybe he can go but from maybe that. Maybe whenever Latvia sings on the semi final, maybe people from home will be like, ah, finally, something more like and they vote for yeah. it okay yeah, exactly i agree i agree on that which ones didn't we mention at all that okay we, let's check mention? from the same final two yeah which one didn't um, we mention at all estonia albania czechia san marino yeah i feel so bad for albania she has a really good potential i love Bessa so much but this song is not very short actually i don't know I really hoped that she will keep at least the rapping part in Albanian. Yes. I was you know, I liked the idea of revamp, uh -huh. but I can't wait to see her also on the pre-paris and on the semi-final because Albania always manages to qualify. Yes. No matter what where where they are in the odds, Albania, Albania is always there in the final. So they have potential. So she has actually a very big, big potential of qualifying. Yeah. If and one last country we didn't talk about is, is Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan also, yeah. But for me, it's not my kind of... It's not it's not so strong for the final. Yeah. I'm happy that at least they signed some lyrics from the Azerbaijani because the chorus part yeah. is Azerbaijani. Yeah. But the song is not that strong. So they will not be in the final, I guess. It's better than last year, the Twins. Of this course. song is way better. But it's still in this time of competition that it's so strong i also don't see it qualifying but yeah. maybe it can surprise us we are just predicting two people out of millions so of course, we don't know how course. the millions are gonna vote actually of course and we don't know how they are preparing for the original stage you know it will depend on that one yeah so we are done with the two semi-finals and i have quick question because we have six minutes um okay. tell me quickly from the big five plus sweden your okay. top three for now. Okay. Which three think, songs you like the most? Okay, let me check quickly. I think this is the best year from the Big Five and the host country. I love, of course, United Kingdom so much. Uh, also Sweden. 
And in the third place, I have, I think, France. Okay. What so about you? I ha but you said good stuff. I mean, it's very, I mean, the big five plus uh, Sweden, they're very good. Indeed, yeah. they're even Germany is good, actually. Well, I will oh, say wow. that, but I didn't say that. Yes, even the even Germany, I love that song so much. It's like very friendly, but it's so good. Every time I listen on my TV, his performance, I'm like, I really like this one, actually. Yeah. But my top three are France, Italy, and uh, which one do we have? Uh, Spain, Sweden, oh, UK. Spain, UK. UK. So it's France, Italy, UK, and. Yeah. Sweden, for example, this is for me. This kind of staging deserves an award. Uh -huh. the person that made it, this is one of the kind of staging, and I hope they keep it to the final. But yeah. they probably will. And yeah, this is like very good year for the top uh, for the big five. It is. It is. It is. Uh, People were saying like, this is the weakest one, but I don't think this is one of the strongest year. Oh, no, even Spain. Spain has like so many people that sing. I mean, I don't know. You saw in the pre party, people when when Zora played, people were screaming mm -hmm. the, the, yeah. the chorus. And I was thinking, like, yeah, this really sounds like a it could do good in televoting. I don't think uh juries will vote for Spain a lot, but no. televoting, I think it would get more. Yeah, I totally agree with you. Because Blanca Paloma last year, she took only five. I was like, she's going to be in the top. And Me wow, too. everybody, everybody thought Blanca Paloma is going to be like top 10. And if Blanca Paloma didn't reach it, she, it's impossible Nebulosa will reach that. Yeah, uh, she has to improve a bit the live vocals. Yeah. Or maybe some back vocals with help and stuff, which I don't hate. I always have like songs. Like Solo Blanca, she was not so perfect live last year, but I really liked the song. She did what she could the best, and it was amazing, you know? Yeah, it I was. Fun with it. Um, is there something else that you want to mention? We have four minutes. No, thank you so much. It was so nice to be in here, talk with you. Thank you for having me. So... We did also very quickly, but also it was like 40 minutes, and when you talk about the songs, yeah. you can talk so long. I can sit and talk about Lithuania half an hour, but it's not worth <laughs> it. Because we need You're right. stuff. Uh, are you gonna be on some of on Amsterdam or any other pre party? Not sure, but because I have some plans for the summer, so I will not decide it for the pre parties or the Eurovision yet. Okay, yeah, but you are gonna create now videos and stuff once the semifinals are coming. Everything you're gonna put probably your top 10, 15, or twenty, or I don't know. Yes, also I am planning to make some content Game. for. Yeah, yeah, some game content. Also, I applied for the, you know, press. And uh, if I get it, so I will try to make a uh, live Ooh. sessions for every day. So you got the media press that you can watch from your home, the yeah. hotels, whenever yes. they want. And after that, you'll make videos of talking about it. Yes, yes. I will try to make live sessions every day. Okay, that's good. Because I'll be, I'll be there and I have tickets for Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So I have mm -hmm. for every preview show. Yeah. And I'll also, whatever I see, I'll share. And maybe we'll have surprises, maybe not. We'll see. Let's see. Um, what else? Some L, something else like wh who is your biggest grower from all the songs? Your big the, that at the beginning you said no, I don't like it much, and now you are like, okay, this I really love now. I said for me the biggest grower is Denmark. Okay, I'm checking it quickly for you. I think it's... I think it's Cyprus. Because at the beginning, I was so hyped for that song. But like when I started to listen and listen and listen again, I really love that song. Okay, that's good to hear. And I think Cy uh, Cypriot people and like Greek people will be happy. Because I think <laughs> Greek people right now are not worried anymore about Greece. They uh -huh. know that Greece maybe will do very good. But a lot of people are worried about Cyprus, and I hope I I... they don't need to worry. They don't need to. Worry. I know that they will do something good for their stage. They always do. That's very true. That's very true. Even when we have like so like Tamta and stuff, it's like they always had good staging. Yeah. With that. Okay, Burak. Thank you very, 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 very much. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, we'll see. You make content. I make content. It's Eurovision, so. 
the people that watch it, maybe they can see after that when you upload your top 20, 10, 5, I don't know what you will upload. Not yet. I don't even know <laughs> right now. <laughs> I will try to do something. <laughs> but also, thank you very much for being here. And thank you so much for having me.